Welcome to Pemberley Farm. Well, today we are doing something that I'm fairly new to, but I just wanted to share it with y'all. I think it's a lot of fun, and if you're like us, and you use an awful lot of vanilla, and you know how expensive it is for a tiny little bottle, well, about a year ago, a little less than a year ago, I started making my own vanilla. And so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna make vanilla. These two jars, or vanilla that I have in the works. It, you know, depending on what process you use, it takes about a year to, uh, for it to be finished. And so I won't use these till sometime next year, but that's okay. I have vanilla, I, I don't need them right now. And so I would rather they get, uh, uh, arrive at their full potential before I try to use them. And so what does it take to make vanilla? Well, it takes vanilla beans, which is what these are. Vanilla beans. This is five ounces of vanilla beans. And I can't remember what kind these are. These are Indonesian uh, vanilla beans. You can get Madagascar, you can get all different kinds. Hawaiian, these happen to be Indonesian and they smell heavenly. If this was uh, smell a vision it would be great. So what else do I have here? Well, I have 151 proof Everclear. Everclear is a grain alcohol. Now, we don't drink at all, at all. But in making tinctures and vanilla, the vanilla you buy at the store is has alcohol in it. Uh, so it takes alcohol to make uh, the vanilla. Now you can use glycerin, but it will not last as long as far as shelf life. And so, since what you buy at the store is alcohol, and we've been using it for years, I decided to do this. Now, why did I choose Everclear instead of vodka? Because a lot of people choose vodka. Well, from all this reading and studying I've done, uh, there's people on both sides, you know. But Everclear lets the, from what I've read, and from people who have done it for a lot longer than I have, lets the flavor of the vanilla beans come out more than the vodka. It has no taste. There's no flavor to it. And so that's why I chose Everclear instead of uh, vodka. Okay. Now this, like I said, this is 151 proof. You can use uh, 190 proof, but they don't sell that around here. I don't know in Florida if 190 proof is against the law or just where I had my son pick it up is um, they just don't carry it. I don't know. But anyway, that's what I have. And so what's my ratio? So for 151 proof, you would do a two thirds cup of Everclear to one third cup of distilled water. You have to use distilled water, not tap water. So a two thirds cup of Everclear to one third cup of distilled water. You don't wanna put straight Everclear on it. It will kind of fry your beans if you do. And you don't wanna fry the beans. They're not cheap. So just like the vanilla liquid is not cheap. The beans are not cheap either. But in the long run, you come out ahead because you can process them more than once. In other words, create vanilla uh, extract more than one time with your beans. And I'm, there's a whole big long thing about that. I'm not gonna get into that today. I'm just gonna start with just the, the beginning of it, okay? So, what do I have here? I have a, a, a mason jar, just a quart. Actually, it's, a, it's an old mayonnaise, glass mayonnaise jar. And so, and what I've mixed up here, I've taken, I've, t I've done um, two cups of Everclear. I measured out two cups of Everclear and one cup of distilled water in my pitcher so I can mix it together. I didn't wanna pour the Everclear in on top and then my, and the, and the jar not hold quite everything. So I, I figured the best way to do it, and this is the way I do it, uh, I've done the others. Mix it up first and then, uh, then pour it in. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just simple. Like I said, this is five ounces. Oh my, these are longer than normal. All right, so what we're gonna do with them, the others were not this more, were not this long. So what we're gonna do with them is fold them over. It won't hurt them. We're gonna fold them over and stuff them down in there. As long as they are in the liquid, that's what you want. You want them in the liquid. 
The others were much shorter than these beans. These beans were, were kind of long. All right, and where I get them from, and I'll tell you who that is in a few minutes, it comes and it tells you uh, how many ounces it is and what it was. And so what I did is I just cut that out and I taped it to the front of my jar and I put the date that I started the jar. And so that way you know what you've got, what kind of beans. And if I always use Everclear and distilled water, I don't have to note that. If I use something besides that, if I use vodka or rum or something, which I'm not likely to, but if I did, I would note that on there as well. So anyway, and so now all you do is pour this Look at there, perfect. I did forget to bring a lid over here. So I'll get a lid, that's what I'll do next, is get a lid and I will, there's a couple of them that are uh, sticking out. I'll make sure that I get them put in the liquid and it will sit for a year. It'll sit for a year before I even attempt to try it. I see, like I say, I don't need it. I have some vanilla, um, extract stored and so I've got enough to last me for the next year and this this one should come out uh, about March and this one should come out sometime in September and so you know I'm not looking at a full year before I could replace what I have and then of course this one will come out around Christmas next year so anyway this just wanted to give you a short little video about vanilla beans and making your own vanilla extract it's not hard um, this I wish you could see it's 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 pretty dark it's as dark as what you buy in the grocery store if not darker and the thing is you want it you want it to stay long enough that the alcohol is not so strong when you uh, when you use the extract and that's why you, one of the reasons too you have to uh, wait a year so again I'm, an, I'm fairly new at this but I think it's a very cool thing and I don't know if any, very many of you have uh, jumped off uh, into this yet, but you know, if, if you store alcohol and you don't drink it up and you store it, and so after I, after I pour off this and you know, this stuff that I've already started uh, later next year when I pour it up, um, then I can add more liquid to it and and let that and let it process again okay so anyway there's a ratio to that and I don't want to get too complicated today today I just want to do the beginnings okay and I will tell you where I got mine where I got my beans it's a family-owned uh, vanilla bean company and it's called Indri I-N-D-R-I Indri Vanilla and they are on Facebook and they have a web page um, and so that's how I first found them was on Facebook, and they're a, they they do two ways. They're a co-op. Now I get nothing for telling you this, okay? I'm not an affiliate or anything like that. I I just like their vanilla beans, and I I like that they're a family-owned business. That sisters work together. Their dad works there. You know, I just like that they're a family-owned business. And for a long, long time, they worked out of their house, and so they've just recently moved into something different but for a long time they worked out of their house and so i appreciate that as a as a you know very small business person i i appreciate the fact that they're a family-owned business and that they're small so go check them out uh they have like i said they have, they're a co-op and if you order through the co-op it's much cheaper than if you go to their website and order retail okay so keep that in mind and go give them a look you know like I said I think I paid uh, I may have paid eight dollars an ounce for this and there's five ounces but now it will make me way more vanilla than that than that uh, even taking into the consideration the price of the Everclear nothing's cheap anymore guys nothing okay just we might as well just accept that fact so even with all of it together it is much cheaper in the long run for this Initial outlay, yes, it is more, but in the long run, the fact that you can continue this makes it much, much cheaper over time. Okay, I thank you so much for dropping in today, 
and uh, be sure and like our video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Uh, go check out our Facebook page. We are Pemberley Farm Homestead. Uh, also on Instagram and TikTok, Fit Pemberley Farm Homestead. And so I thank you again for stopping by and have a blessed day from Pemberley Farm.